So after creating your group, um, you will then need to add a topic or add an assignment. So the way we do that is go into your group and then go down to add a topic. And then give your topic a title. And then you could give them a prompt or um, a bit more information down there if you wanted to. I'm going to leave a blank for now. Uh, recording time, so you can choose here how, how long you want the children to be recording for. Um, so if it was a short question, you could take it down to 15 seconds or 10 minutes. I'm happy with two minutes at the moment with this one. We'll leave closed captions off. And this part here is quite important, so the video moderation. So we need to make sure this is on because if any student will um, or sends you an, a, a video as a response, you will have to moderate it and make sure that it's fine before activating it so other um, children are able or students are able to see. So leave that on. And then this is where we choose the media. So you can choose to upload an image uh, so the students can discuss an image. You can upload a video, you can put a, an emoji. Um, for now, I'm going to um, upload a video. So I'm going to record a video straight from um, Flipgrid. So as you can see there, it says you can have 10 minutes to record your video, click anywhere to dismiss. So the first thing we need to do is press record. Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Um, can you um, record a two minute clip um, saying something about your family please? Press next, you can review it. Hello everyone. I hope you're well. Press next. I'm happy with that. And then next thing you need to do is you need to take a selfie. That's that done. Press next. And then it's uploading your video. So that's it. And then complete. So the media then is, is done. So we need to scroll down now, uh, down here. I'm going to have a look at more options. So you can uh, um, add a link there if you need to give them any links to uh, material that will help them with the topic. Um, you can change the topic status to hidden. So if the children's got access to the group, if you leave it hidden, they won't have access to this um, individual topic, if you like. But now we'll keep it as active. You can schedule a topic to, um, to be released. Um, you can change the, the notifications here. This is quite handy. So if I change mine to every new video, so every time a student posts a video as a response, you get an email um, as a notification saying that someone's done that. Um, leave that as it is. Uh, enable everything here, video editing. And then I don't want the students to be able to comment. Maybe that's something that you'd like to switch on. Um, and then I'm happy with the view count and likes to be off as well, because I don't want them to get into any kind of competition there. Leave the um, feedback as basic. And then all we need to do is press create topic. Just prompts me to do that. So I'll just put one of them in there. Press create topic. And this is a link, not to the group, but to the individual topic. So again, you can copy and paste that into whatever you want. Google Classrooms or Microsoft Teams here. And that's it.